there everybody welcome to the swear corner for those joining us for the very first time welcome y'all welcome welcome to my channel right so today's video is all about us trying to well literally i'm talking about eyeshadow palettes for beginners i got a message like on my instagram sometime last year towards the end of last year and i was asked to talk about eyeshadow palettes for beginners i didn't get a chance to film that video but here we are filming it now now let's delve into this whole story and then let's talk about eyeshadow palettes for beginners for beginners it's not like makeup artists but beginner makeup enthusiasts when i get into makeup I don't know what palette to pick up I don't want to buy it too expensive because I'm just learning on how to do my makeup and all of that good stuff so please advise how do I deal with it so at this point in time if you are like a beginner in 2021 and um, you probably watched my videos foundation for beginners I mean for dark skin girls you probably watched my video on how to do your eyebrows you watched my video on primers you watched my video on um, the 80 20 rule in applying your foundation you've watched all of that now you're like okay i got my base or lunda i got my base down what do i do when it comes to eyeshadows the thing about it though is that we're going to talk about this from a namibian perspective so if i'm talking about this palettes that are cheap like this it's literally from a namibian perspective my research in trying in buying makeup products and all of that this is basically where we are not from like a world perspective if you're somewhere else in the continent and you're watching me maybe it's easier on your side to get like cheaper palettes for beginners on my side it's a little bit tricky but yeah it's better than it was a few years ago right so we'll start with my most favorite eyeshadow palette eyeshadow palette brand for beginners and that for me is the colors limited by Foshini brand i literally have like one two and three of these thingies and they are one of the cheapest ones that i like because their pigment are so is so good that i'm like oh this is worth having and this is worth like for a beginner trying out i've used these palettes for a while i've had them for a while you can see i've used them if you'll watch like my earlier videos of when i started my youtube channel those videos are mostly with the color this color limited palette by Foshini. Right now, I mentioned Foshini, and you're like, there she goes, mentioning an expensive shop. It's not that expensive, I promise you that. All these palettes are usually all under $50, $50, 50 Namibian dollars, 50 Rand. I mean, this one still has a price tag, and I bought this one last year. That was $44.99. This is that cup palette key there, and this one was also there. No, it's 50 bucks. And this one was so old and this one was $26. So you see how cheap they are. So you just want to get in there, pick an eye shadow palette. That's at least pigmented that you can use as a dark skin girl or like dark skin friendly. This ones are dark skin friendly colors. And the pigment for me is very nice. Honestly, like let's just swatch this one, this purple here. And then you see how nice the pigment is. It does show up nicely on your skin so those are very nice and then i think i like about them is that they all come in like in multiple colors so you can buy one cheap one and then try the multiple colors for people want to be adventurous and trying multiple colors and this actually helps you out a lot because you can see you even get the browns and you know so all of them usually come like that they also have they also have very um neutral palettes that you can also use those are also there that's my most favorite one okay so then we go on to other other one the other ones that i also have oh i didn't i don't have it now but the essence palettes well the second best one would be you buying um signature um eyeshadow palettes they are cheap in price but the earlier versions of their eyeshadows are not really were not as pigmented as I would have liked honestly and I didn't like that about that but about their eyeshadows and for a while I stopped buying signature eyeshadows but then um, sometime last year someone I follow Flora Miranda I think that's her name anyway she 
used this palette on her and she's also dark in complexion not as dark as maybe lighter but she used this palette from signature and this is a very beautiful palette at this point in time you probably have seen a review of this um, on my channel already where i create a makeup look with this eyeshadow palette right here but it is so cool and so cute and all of that good stuff and it gives you pigments as well so over the years they have literally gone in like really picked up the standard is that what you say raise the standard of the eyeshadow palettes now i'll put this as a disclaimer i don't know let me just put this here i don't know if this palettes all of them are not revamped so don't go there and be like but she said all of her, those palettes are revamped no talking about this exotic nude that looks like this and then there's another black one as well these two the colors are so beautifully pigmented um i'm not sure about the other ones but this one costs 95 dollars so number two signature eyeshadow palettes right also under 100 bucks but if you so the fortini ones are for if you want to try like color and lots and blah 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 if you want to try like nice exotic looks this nice and shimmers you can play around with the shimmers here and some of the glitters that they also have in the palettes from signature so you see because the fortini ones are mostly matte and very few shimmers in their palettes and then the fortini i mean the color limited ones i like that so just know about those two we've gone from the very cheapest to like next signature um the other one that you can also get number three is that you can go to the chinese shops now talking about those chinese shops you all have to be really careful remember it's a gamble to buy the eyeshadow palettes and you have to remember that you're not going to get a good color payoff from the eyeshadows they look cool and all but the moment you apply them fades 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 also if you do end up buying those from the china shops you have to be careful that um they don't like give you any side effects just letting you all know be careful okay for those who decide to go to the china shop I was asked, I'm just giving you the information of where I can like, wait in my mind I can think about getting cheaper ones. Um, and then the other thing that you could also do is literally go on eBay. eBay also have cheap eyeshadow palettes. I have a few of those from eBay and they take about six to eight weeks to arrive, but they're also very cheap and their pigments are also very nice. You can literally get like a big old palette with like 26 to 30 whatever like shades in the capella you get a box like you can get something like that with like so many shades and then also from ebay or aliexpress or uh amazon you know you can get good eyeshadow palettes from them also at a very nice price but then you you start coming then it's from a hundred bucks up Right, so I started with the ones, the first ones, because then just in case your budget is out, you don't want to spend more than a hundred dollars. So signature and for Shini, it is for you. And of course, the China shop, if you're not allergic to anything and you're willing to try them out. But again, disclaimer, I don't even know why I'm putting them in here, but they are there and they're in your face. There's some Asian shops that have very beautiful pigments. I'm not gonna like take them from the list simply because there are some of them are very, very good, like eyeshadow palettes with good pigment under a hundred dollars. In some Asian shops really have like picked up the type of the, the standard in terms of the type of product that they bring into their shop because they want to be seen as a boutique so they bring in more like high-end according to their thing like eyeshadow palettes and then they look very nice although some of them are like knockoffs of the real things like but still their pigment usually is like a good pigment and then the other one I mm, not have shining store people who are not inventor don't have shining stone if you're in Ventuk, you have shining stone um they also have very very nice like eyeshadow palettes also starting at like 60 bucks going above 100 something but very nice not 100 like 200 bucks but it's like 150 down to like 60 it's like in that bracket um those are very nice eyeshadow palettes you can also try them for beginners if you're not in Ventuk. if you're not in Ventuk, go to signature <laughs> 
and for shaving there's always a for shaving almost everywhere that you can go to right and there's always an asian shopping with like nice boutique and then they've like nice palettes as well you know what i mean because like some of them have literally become like a proper beauty shop where they sell like a lot of like pencils and lipsticks and all of that and quality some of them is actually good so be careful scout wisely oh, what a shadow palette if your budget is now you're like ah, you know what my budget is more than a hundred bucks i can actually do this i have a little bit of money i want to spend like 200 300 450 bucks on like a palette again then you have a better scope of products that you want to buy where you can buy them because then you can go to like this game and get the essence products they have nice eyeshadow palettes for like 100 bucks 120 125 you can go to clicks they'll also have some products not the clicks brand but they'll have like maybe yardly but you get like small like palette is also there if you have an egg gush close to you or bitty if you have an egg gush close to you and your egg gush is still open their makeup shop they usually have like also like egg gush brands that also um sell cheap eyeshadow palettes um not my favorite type of pigment though for dark skin because like, guys i'm just i think in 2021 i'm over the struggle of trying to find things for like dark skin friendly in this africa hours like in namibia like can we just can we can i can I, black girl walk into a shop and just be like oh my gosh pigment 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 why must i play hide and seek with the products like why must the product play hide and seek with me or why must i ask people when it's coming back you know what i mean like our markets are picking up people are getting into all these things and them like into makeup and buying makeup products why are we not <sighs> getting the products <laughs> it's frustrating it just is frustrating when you're into the shop and you're literally looking for that thing and you can't find it you'll be like oh it's there and your shade is not there like they only have up to about a bit lighter than me and that's when their darkest one how dare you you know what i mean i give people a hard time in the shops anyway if i get to a makeup counter or makeup situation and there's not a shade that matches me i give them a hard time i really do sometimes i even ask for the manager like why don't we have better shades than this like how many black people do you have like you have so many like black people you know and women want to try these things now you're not giving us the options because why 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 are you not why why so please talk to your supplier you need to get better stock you talk to the people and tell them because if they don't provide us with that nice then we don't buy them do you know what i mean can you just mac across the board that has like all these nice like shades that's why the girl most girls wear mac I'm not actually about the eyeshadow but i'm just saying is it like is a point i'm making that's why a lot of p girls like black girls dark skin girls wear mac because somehow you always find your shade mac has made sure because they know in africa we have to make sure there's a nice range and people buy mac now all the other ones i'm like missing out on like anyway the point <laughs> oh this is you can go to edgar and check out the counters the makeup counters they also have like products in there in there that I also and like in their names you know um i think this is scarlet Sc scarlet mata price mm, i'll put it here I think this is red something like that something red is the brand of um edgar also jet also has nice sales btw of um makeup products so you can also get an eyeshadow palette for yourself there i don't know if there are ones in, in all the regions and all the areas they do carry those cheap eyeshadow palettes but they do have eyeshadow palettes there as well um they also carry essence stuff and all of those so you can find yourself like the no name brands and then get yourself like a good eyeshadow palette you know talking about that i literally like um jets um powders like press powders i like them and i get them there they're like 30 bucks very cheap so think about checking out jet as well for like eyeshadow palettes and then so now yeah what i was talking about your budget is now more you don't mind spending two three hundred bucks for a palette a palette like this here will definitely cost you like 350 450 and because now you're looking for like serious stuff and you want like serious pigment and you're like literally playing around with color like no one's business and you feel like you've gained more experience you can spend the money and it won't like cost you a thing i mean you won't feel like oh my gosh i've overspent so this kind of palette i bought from um flora under i'll put miranda 
I'll put her link in the description, not here, in the description box. And then you can also like thingy here, um, hit her up. She was on Instagram, but that's, she's the one I, I got this palette from. And this palette was $300, I think, um, basically. So this is a very cool one. Um, I like the multiple colors, for me it's a good investment because I like multiple colors and I've wanted something like this big for a while because I've been playing around with like one of my friends is like palette and after she I gave her her palette back I was like I need a palette like that in my life but I wasn't willing to spend all my money like for a palette you know because palettes can go up to like a thousand bucks guys like palettes eyeshadow palettes can go up to a thousand dollars it's just up to about it's just about oh up to how much you want to use up to you oh lord jesus sorry god there goes the English. It depends on how much money you want to spend on an eyeshadow palette. Basically that, right? So now you just decide, I have want to spend a thousand bucks. I'm that lush. I have money. I'm balling. I have a coin. Let me spend money. Then you spend money on like a thousand bucks. There are people on like Instagram, Namibia people who actually sell very beautiful eyeshadow palettes. Don't know about look people who sell them because sometimes you find them cheaper by them than finding them cheaper in the shop, especially if you want to go like high end um eyeshadow palettes at the end of the day if you put on your um your things right people will not know that you actually used a cheap palette at this point in time right now i used this one here this is the all women um palette from foshini this is what created this look here and this one key for me was just a hundred bucks that's the color that it comes in was just a hundred bucks but if you put it on right and the colors are nice and pigmented you still look like you used a very expensive palette so at the end of the day it's honestly like it's practice 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 with your palette um be willing to wash it off for it to look bad one day and all of that stuff and then the more you play with it the more you get your eyeshadow look right same with me like sometimes i also don't get it right sometimes i'm too impatient to probably blend correctly and it just looks like a hot mess yes you get those days you honestly do you honestly do but you have to constantly practice 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 when you're at home in this COVID times of ours like one random day just sit there and play with your eyeshadow palette whether it's not from signature it's from foshini it's from uh edgars it's from dscam it's an essence it's whatever palette that you have you know then you can do that just make sure that you please wash your brushes in between you using your i mean you putting on your makeup and all of that stuff or sanitize your brushes as well so but that's basically that um this is very gonna be a very very short video simply because it's so eyeshadows are literally one of those things that you can almost like find everywhere and you don't have to buy a specific one for it to be the right one because over the years as you continue over time you're gonna buy you're gonna invest in more palettes because you want to try out more looks and you might just end up buying one that you're like oh my gosh i'm going to spend a thousand bucks on that palette because if i have it i have all the colors that i need from like natural to like funky colors and all the shimmers that you can get because you do get those palettes and then you, you spend your thousand bucks on that and you don't need any other palette but um yeah Honestly, it's like any other thing that you pick up. After a while, you want to buy more products. After a while, you want to try also other things. And so you, you end up buying more palettes um, as time progresses. And so the thing I can give you advice on when it comes to eyeshadow palettes is that yeah, give yourself time. Honestly, give yourself time. You have to buy the most expensive one at this point. You have to buy the most beautiful brand at this point. Oh my gosh, that's, I want to buy MAC and I want to buy James Charles and I want to buy a abh you know but you don't have to or revlon and for and all the i mean revlons and the yardleys and the maybellines you don't have to buy those ones when you start you can literally just buy a very cheap palette from like i said either signature colors and i mean um, for Shini and try those and see how you feel about it and then you also know because you also know the type of colors that you would usually normally gravitate to is the type of palettes that you buy like if you're just doing it for like going to work all the time and want to put makeup on all the time then but don't look like too overdone natural then you buy like a nice neutral palette and you start playing around with that one because neutrals are very easy to also play with otherwise 
honestly what i've also learned over the years is that you know highlighters highlighters and blushes also make very good eyeshadows for people who just want to learn so you don't technically have to buy an eyeshadow palette right now if you have a nice highlighting palette you can always use and give yourself like glossy looks you know bronzy type of like yeah bronzy looks and you can use your eyeshadow not your blush and you can use like your blushes for eyeshadow and you can just play around with those and then once you're very confident in yourself then you can actually go on and buy like a nice um, eyeshadow palette uh yeah that's basically it i don't really have a lot to say about eyeshadow palettes yeah the thing that you would have to learn once you have your eyeshadow palettes is literally the blending game how you have to teach yourself how to combine colors so that they come out the way you see them you know but take a picture or something of someone with like the look that you want to create practice on yourself and see how it comes out honestly when it comes to makeup practice makes perfect the more you apply the more you get to know your face the more you know what actually works for your face your eyelid what does not work for your eyelid what makes you look like you're really popping what like really like um covers your eye out too much and what doesn't complement your face you learn those things over time when it comes to like the eyeshadows and stuff like that but yeah it's it literally as easy as that when it comes to finding eyeshadow palettes so happy scouting go out there find what you need um let me know if you if there's a shop by the way if there's a shop that you know of that i don't know that sells also cheap eyeshadow palettes put it in the description box not in the description in the comment section and then let's see if there are places that i've missed i've mentioned jet i've mentioned signature i've mentioned instagram peoples i've mentioned for shini colors limited i've mentioned edgars i've mentioned colleagues and within clicks you definitely have all those other ranges you just have to go and find the cheaper one and cheaper is usually essence um among all the ranges of makeup unless they are new like um brands that you don't know then they also have very cheaper ones but the more popular ones that you know like the yardy maybelline's revlon usually their palettes are like 195 230 300 dollars all of that so yeah, so you don't need more than one or two eyeshadow palettes for beginners. One with colors and one with neutrals. And then you grow your products from them. That's basically that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have really liked and commented and subscribed. And that you shared the video with your friends. I'll see you guys in my... I feel like I spoke so much and like need water.